Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply three-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. So let's jump into our two examples here and find the product of each. Now remember, product means the answer to a multiplication problem. So for number one, we have 239 times 54. And the first thing we need to do is line this problem up. So we can write 239 times 54. Now when writing this problem, it's important that all of our places are lined up. So for example, our nine and four are lined up because they are both in the ones place. The three and five are lined up because they are both in the tens place. And then the two is lined up with um, nothing below that because 54 doesn't have a digit in the hundreds place. So now that we're lined up, we're ready to multiply. And what we're going to do, we're going to do four times 239 and then 50 times 239. And we're doing 50 because the five in 54 has a value of 50. And then we add those two answers together to get our final product or answer. So let's start with four times nine, which is 36. So we put our six here and we carry our three that has a value of 30 over to the tens place. Now we're doing four times 30 because that three is in the tens place, but we can just think of it as four times three and then add that three that we carried. So four times three is 12 plus three is 15. Carry our one. Now we do four times 200 or just think of it as four times two, which is eight, plus that one is nine. So four times 239 is 956, but that's not our final answer. We still need to do 50 times 239. So we are done with this one that we carried and the three. I'm crossing those off just so we don't get confused with any other numbers we need to carry. And I'm also going to cross this four off because we are done with it. Now we're going to do 50 times 239. So we need a zero here because we're moving over to the tens place and that five has a value of 50. So we put a zero there to represent that. Now we need to do five times nine, three and two, just like we did with the four in our first step. So five times nine is 45. So we put our five here, carry the four. Now we do five times three plus that four, which is 19, carry the one, and then five times two is 10, plus that one is 11. Now we can add these two numbers together. These are called our partial products, and it makes sense because they are part of the final product or answer. So six plus zero is six, five plus five is 10, one plus nine is 10, plus nine is 19, one plus one is two, and we just have a one there that we can drop down, and we get a final answer of 12,906. So on to number two. First thing, we set the problem up, 628 times 73. So we need to do three times 628, and then 70 times 628. Add those answers together to get our final answer. So three times eight is 24, carry our two. Three times two is six, plus two is eight. Three times six is 18. We are done with this three, and then also that two that we carried. So we need a zero here for our next step because that seven has a value of 70. We're moving over to the tens place. So now we do seven times eight, which is 56, carry our five. Seven times two is 14, plus five is 19. Seven times six is 42, plus one is 43. So we have our partial products and we are ready to add. So four plus zero is four, eight plus six is 14, one plus eight is nine, plus nine is 18. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5, and then we have a 4 down here. So we get a final product or answer of 45,844. So there you have it. There's how you multiply three-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.